Hello everyone, Moonrider here, and I'm back with another product review that could even be a perfect addition to your gaming setup. Fifine once again sent out one of their products for me to check out, and this time around it's their BM88 Low Profile Boom Arm. It's available in black and white and can be purchased for between $55 and $60 from either Amazon or Fifine's own online storefront. If you're interested in the BM88 after watching this video, I'll have links to both storefronts down in the description. Now let's cut to the unboxing and see what's all included. Upon flipping open the packaging, you are greeted with this helpful user manual, as well as these two pieces of cardboard. One of them is hollow, while the other contains some important parts. Beneath all of that is the BM88, which I requested in white to go with my new AM8 USB and XLR microphone Fifine recently sent me as well. Fifine describes the BM88 as all metal, and it feels extremely light while still sturdy. And right out of the box, the arms are very mobile, allowing you to get a look at some of the built-in cable managing. Now, back to that parts box. Inside, you'll find the desk clamp with attached ratchet. This clamp is beefy, and the base opens up to 2.8 inches in height and also comes padded to protect the surface you're clamping to. Also included is this little baggie containing the rotatable ball head mount, two different threaded adapters for 1 4 inch to 3 8 inch and 3 8 inch to 5 8 inch threads and an allen wrench for loosening and tightening the tension on the arms. Now that everything's unpacked, let's get to setting it up. I recently reduced the size of my gaming area on my desk, so since I don't have a lot of room to mount this, I'm gonna try mounting it below my main monitor. I'm just hoping the lower arm is high enough to clear my sound bar. Now that the clamp is tightened down, be sure to loosen the allen screw in the back of the base, right here. This allows you to slide the boom arm into the base. Be sure to tighten it a bit so the boom arm won't lift out, but not too tight, you cut off its mobility. All right, moment of truth, because I forgot to, you know, just measure before setting it up here. And it just barely clears with a little lift. And that's all thanks to that BM88's 2.8 inches of clearance from the lower boom arm to the bottom of the base. Just like with the Allen screw in the base, if the central screw is too tight and stiff, you can loosen the tension here, but loosen it too much and the top arm will lift out when you try to tilt the arm upward. Finding the balance in the tension is a reoccurring theme with the BM88, as you'll see more of, with the next bit of assembly. Here we have the rotatable ball head mount. Its body is made up of two pieces that sandwich together with this screw. However, an annoyance with this design is the screw not only tightens the body pieces around the end of the boom arm, but also around the ball head affecting its mobility, which again can get a bit annoying when trying to find the right balance of tension. Once you have the screw loose enough, insert the bald end of the boom arm into the mount. Tighten the screw to secure it to the boom arm. Now is also time to connect a microphone. With the AM8, I'm using the gold 3 8 to 5 8 inch adapter. And here is where we run into the reoccurring issue of balance. As you can see, with the screw tightened down, it's very difficult to adjust the angle of the ball head, even beginning to show signs of scraping paint inside the mount. Meanwhile, the mount itself is tightly attached to the boom arm. That is, until I apply some pressure and it breaks free. Now the mount won't stay in place, but the ball joint is still very tight, and as you can see, the screw isn't loose. I have to apply a strong bit of force to break it free, and there's actually a lot of scraped off paint now inside the mount. It does still work once you get everything in place, but I do hope Fifine reevaluates this design in the future. While the ball head mount continues to be my biggest gripe with the BM88, once you get the tensions on the boom arms balanced, they do maintain that hold, and it still provides far more play and mobility than a basic spring boom arm like this, which only lifts up and down and pivots at the base. And aesthetically, the BM88 looks way, way cleaner in the setup, especially in white since I really popped against my black PC build. Of course, its built-in cable management helps maintain that clean vibe as you'll only see a bit of cable at three points. But even with the black cable, this doesn't look bad at all, especially in comparison to the old boom arm. Yikes. Cable management on the BM88 couldn't be simpler. Both arms have a sliding plate attached to their undersides. When the top arm is lifted, push the plate opposite the direction of the arrow. There is a ton of space for cables. The bottom plate gave me some trouble trying to push it back just with my finger. Um, don't do it like this. Yeah, I bashed my finger on one of the plastic clips and it really freaking hurt. I later discovered the plate slides back easier by wrapping your hand around the lower arm like a handle while your hand slides and pulls. Once you're done with the cable managing, you're ready to go and in practice, the BM88 works. Beautifully, I might add. Not only does its low profile design allow me to tuck it away almost completely out of sight, but what you do see still fits aesthetically within a clean setup. It's not perfect, but if I had to give it a number rating, I'd give it 8 out of 10. Even with the mount annoyances, I'm not ditching this for my old spring boom arm. Heck no. 
aesthetically, it's superior in terms of mobility, it's superior. For the price of $50 to $60, it's superior compared to what I see on Amazon. So yes, I still think this is a great boom arm that could be perfect for your setup, especially if you've got limited space and a limited budget for a boom arm as sick as this. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments. Also give the video a like if you enjoyed it and found it helpful and subscribe to the channel for more gaming setup content and tech reviews like this. Thanks for watching, later.